what's going on lads and lasses welcome back to 100% mags as you can tell to dma Pro is absolutely killing after an amazing match last night at wembley as england took on germany in a, a packed wembley as well 40 odd thousand not fully packed but pretty amazing considering uh, the restrictions with covid but absolutely amazing match the fans were behind england all the way there was obviously the odd doubt here and there uh, before the game, even during the game as well. There was doubt as as well, thinking, you know, are we going to be able to win this game? For me, I was fully behind England all the way. I didn't have any doubts whatsoever that we were going to go into this game and lose to the Germans. I just had this feeling that we could come away from it, you know, with a really good uh, win in we got a pretty comfortable win in the end as well, if you look at it, you know, 2-0 win against the Germans. There was a moment in the match, uh, which I will touch on, of course, where uh, Raheem Sterling almost become uh, from hero to zero in a matter of no time, you know. He just he scored the goal, then he had a moment where he passed the ball and it ended up going to Tommy Muller. Tommy Muller broke through. It looked like it was going to be in and the Germans were going to level back up to 1-1. But it just was not Tommy Muller's day. And quite embarrassing as well for him uh, after his pre-match wink as well during the national anthems. Which, <laughs> when looking at it from that perspective, it's actually quite funny really uh, that he ended up missing in the end uh, that shot. And... Of course, Harry Kane got himself on the board. The first goal of the tournament for Harry Kane. Absolutely amazing as well. Really good positioning by Harry Kane to find himself in a really good area to put away the ball like he did. Absolute fantastic performance by the lads last night. We'll move on as well uh, because just after that, of course, Sweden took on Ukraine in the game that would be the decider to who we face in the quarterfinals. And, of course, we're seeing, as most of the matches have been in the round of the 16, another fantastic match. And this time, of course, Ukraine coming away with a win against the Swedes. So that means that on Saturday coming at 8 o'clock, we will be taking on, of course, the Ukraine. And we're going to be taking on Ukraine in Rome uh, and it's going to be an 8 o'clock kickoff on Saturday in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. And hopefully, you know, we can make it further in the tournament. Because if we do, uh, just get up the one for that. If we do, then we will then take on either Czech Republic or Denmark. Which is the game that plays at 5 o'clock before the game. Uh, for us at 8 o'clock so we'll get to see of course who we're going to face before we have to take on Ukraine in that quarter final game uh, it's going to be exciting I can't wait uh, to get it going again support England again and hopefully by then my throat will be much better after last night uh, shouting at the match uh, just absolutely enjoyed every minute of that game last night. It was a real pleasure to watch. And I'm sure everybody in England as well enjoyed absolutely getting the revenge we so rightfully deserved against the Germans uh, last night after, of course, Euro 96, uh, Italia 90. You know, we needed that revenge and we got it last night in absolute fantastic performances by the lads and of course credit as well to Raheem Sterling who is England's top goal scorer in the competition as well uh, if you did like this video uh, please hit a like on it also subscribe to the channel I'm on the road to 600 subscribers and hopefully like I say my voice will be better uh, for the game on Saturday until next time, I'll see you all later, and how are the lads?